So, uh, hi, my name is Eduardo Lucena. I'm an almost all networks are running as Xtreme Boy. Same boy or Extreme Boy or how you wanted to call me. People call me Edward. It's shorter than clear. Um, and in the past, I was uh, running the marketing team, licensed hereditary <laughs> a role I get from, from Justin Flory. And the problem with the marketing team was that uh, we didn't have any specific direction. We were trying to co accomplish some uh, tasks that were done by release, uh, but that task I aren't specifically related with marketing per se. For example, collecting screenshots and updating the bookmarks that were uh, the package that have them bookmarks on Firefox. Um, because the tasks were kind of simple and not marketing related, we lost track of a lot of people that was trying to do some marketing. And after I came with the idea of having a podcast that is uh, the, the Fedora Project Podcast, more people got interested and finally in my share with a the objective of the community outreach revamp, uh, we get more track again with the marketing team and we have a very best focus on what we want to do. And more people that really know about marketing because my involvement in marketing was because I want to help in any area with any tasks that I can do. For example, take the screenshots with something I will able to do. Uh, and also with updating the package was something that was very simple. That is just a git uh, push to Pagure and where the package lived. But I'm not a marketing expert. I became some kind of expert of how the Fedora marketing team work. But I'm here trying to, to push the marketing team back because I think marketing is a very important part of any project and more, more mostly when the project is so big in uh, and pushing a lot of people uh, outside, trying to reach a lot of people outside to use a, a very well done uh, Linux distribution that pre sent the president to their uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux and the CentOS stream Linux. And now that Alma Linux is based on the on the downstream of Rail. Uh, we have a very 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 big uh, 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 field of work, and so we need to to be able to to market uh, Fedora very um, at least best of, uh, better than we are doing now. So the idea of the marketing revival is that work uh, with uh, of my idea was working with the new tools that we are working now because we are not using uh, Pagure, Pagure or our Git repository uh, is not going to be updated. We are moving to GitLab. We are moving our mailing list a lot of from discussion where people less more um, is have more uh, it's easier to, to work in in an interface of discord that's that's my point so what yes, we I like uh, what i did was <laughs> i call people uh, i want to do this i think marketing could be something important if we take uh our social media in our uh, trying to work with our social media in the right way try take people that know how to do that um thanks we have uh isabella working with us that is very engaging with the social media and just have very very good ideas on how to do marketing campaigns and now we are working in several stuff so i'm going to allow to say that we move we move from our old tools from pagure we move to gitlab that is this is the marketing uh, issue tracker now we have uh, 11 uh, issues and I started working in my the first uh, thing I did was uh, working in the Fedora share your screen week and we are uh, I'm going to propose the working of the of the Fedora 36 release uh, Fedora share your screen probably next week uh, and I think the idea of using GitLab is because uh, we don't have to maintain it as a community project GitLab is an enterprise, it's a company that have this very good product. 
and we do we do have to use it and report when we need something uh, also we are using discourse not mailing lists that is very easy to engage are better constructed um you have uh, reactions you have replies you have the ability to connect with the calendar with the irc with the chat uh, i think the the idea of having more like a forum that uh mailing list is engaging more people to contribute even when the the more hardcore user of fedora still uh, are, are are still attached to mailing list i think that the discourse move was the idea that I think even bring Joseph here. I think if we kept just doing mailing lists, Joseph will be here. <laughs> I, I I'm not exactly um, sure where the mailing lists are, so <laughs> I think it's HyperKitty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm Hyper very appreciative Kitty, of yes, this. Was the mailing. Yeah. <laughs> Discord is awesome. So we move to Discord. And we are working in trying again the podcast and the third season of the podcast. Uh into life and we have several ideas and then from here i'm allowing uh, joseph to talk about what we are planning because this is related to the marketing campaigns we want to try now sure well thank you i thank you edward and also appreciate all the stuff that you've done kind of continuing the marketing team from from where it was and, uh, and through to now uh so yes the, the podcast that is one thing that we are um, looking at, it, it kind of fits into the context of a broader idea that we're trying, which is the idea of a monthly marketing campaign. So it, it started with uh, how can we, how do I put it? What's a process that we could use that gives us a, a good, you know, relatively quality output in terms of like the content or what have you uh, that is consistent and sustainable? So uh, we want to make sure that we're not trying to come in and be like, whoa, yeah, marketing, let's, you know, uh, knock everyone's socks off. Um, we want it to be good, but it has to be something that wouldn't be so demanding that it drops off because it's too big of an ask. Um, so the idea with the, the monthly marketing campaigns, if you know, if we, it's still experimental. So if we can be consistent with it, it would be um, that on a given month. So let's say this month, August, and we look at what is something that we can, can promote through a campaign. Uh, for this month, uh, we chose the example of, uh, of Apple. So if you saw there um, in that discussion post, if you find that that's going to have a bunch of things about Apple, the podcast about Apple, I'm actually going to add there an Apple survey, which is not us, but <laughs> we are coordinating uh, with uh, the Apple team. And we're thankful for Mindshare as well for, for getting that done. Um, so the idea is we decide on a topic, in this case, Apple, and then we try to think, all right, let's, I don't know, one to three things that we could do that um, would be varied that we could then publish in the following month. Um, originally, this uh, was uh, planned in July, so that's why we're in August now, and that's why this is stuff will hopefully start getting out. But um, that's that's the general idea. Can we push out like one to three things? And so what we came up with as of now is maybe we can do uh, a blog post which is something that i have in the works um, we can be uh, having some posts on like twitter and instagram or what have you um, and also the podcast which is what edward was referring to uh, where we can uh, just try to drive a little deeper into whatever that topic is so on one end you have the increased awareness of it just being on the podcast but also hopefully it becomes interesting content for someone who um, either just wants to listen to the podcast or would like to learn more about that. Uh, so the idea is, you know, if we can if we can do that, then for August we had some coverage for Apple, and then in August we will think about okay, what do we want to cover for the next month? Let's produce that content, and then in the following month we will distribute that. We'll post it or on the various channels or what have you. Uh, the idea for now is for that to kind of be the. That's if we can get that little marketing engine going and consistent, then over time, as, as months go by, we will get to a lot of different areas that maybe weren't seeing uh, coverage before. So Apple, for example, is one where literally I came across it because I dove into a, a, a meeting channel on Matrix and I saw literally Troy Dawson was talking about, hey, there's some documentation about marketing that we should probably nix. 
And I'm like, wait, no, we're trying something. <laughs> and that led to getting in touch with him and, 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 and then becoming the first folks that we're, we're trying to do this with. So um, it's something we're, we're excited about. It's still experimental, but hopefully we'll, we'll be able to figure it out so that it uh, is consistent. Um, so that's kind of the, the main piece of, of what a lot of these slides cover. I think the last one is just a... so so our contacts are will be in instagram or the twitter of the Fedor project we um isabella and me have uh, access to the accounts and we are trying to to push a sub that was uh written original by one of the contacts. i'm not sure who it was it seems it was ryan right who wrote Brian the, did know, the the the, uh, the, file. the SOP, right? Yeah. Yes, he did the SOP. So the idea is uh, right now. I'm seeing we are uh, trying to push uh, two fronts that are re uh, to get more campaigns and to get more engaged in social media. So the the part of social media was started by the uh, by a uh by brian that helped us to grow, grow a writing the sop for using the twitter account he was the original uh i don't know if it's the original but at least one of the latest admins of the twitter account and he started to uh, with science the we don't we didn't have a strategy as a project to tweet we just retweet some stuff and tweet about events but we didn't have an, a strategy to consistently try to uh, grow our use base, user base or have me a social media strategy um, he came with very good ideas we discussed it in several meetings and oh, that's another platform that is not mentioned we moved from irc to chat.fedoraproject.org that is our matrix instance and the idea of the marketing now is to to work in what marketing really should be doing that is do marketing campaigns and to work in the social media strategies so thanks i want to thank joseph and it's all that is helping a lot and uh, i know i don't get too much time to do meetings but i try to to help everywhere i can in the discussion and in the tickets we open in gitlab but i think we are doing a great job and I will be there if when the podcast is revival. That's my baby boy. So yes, I'm not going I'm to abandon the, the Fedora <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, also, uh, we want to people to that want to do something in the project that uh, feel comfortable com coming to us and we can help uh, people to engage and promote their projects. We have, I, I, I think I want to share a message with the general public in or the general contributors of Fedora is that any idea can become something very big in Fedora. Don't be shy to share your idea or speak your idea out loud in marketing or with my share or, or inside any team you are working. I remember I did a comment in a mailing list that is the developer mailing list about hey we always are saying this package is being orphaned or this project is being dropped because it doesn't have upstream support or because nobody is taking care of this package anymore. And if you see the biggest players in the in the blogosphere, like Psychol or in the people that do news or blogs or blog posts like Foronix or these big news media um, uh, sites, they take very seriously what is posted in the, the developer mailing list of the Fedora project. So I say, hey, how we can do the bad word part, how we can promote package that is being included, what new software that is being included, updates that are very big that we are making inside the project. Um, finally, it, even when it was a little question, it became a new project that is uh, a site that will be collecting uh, new pushes and people that want to work, uh, to talk about what they are doing and they what they want to promote inside their distribution in terms of what software is being included inside the Fedora project, in the Fedora Linux. And it was just an idea I had, so like, a, if we promote Orphanet and what is being retired, what we can promote what is being included? It, it, so look, for me, at the time that I did that idea, it, it looked silly. It was a silly email. 
just an idea I had that I dropped there. And it's now a project that is being held by the developers of the Fedora project. So don't be shy. The podcast ex started ex exactly like that. I talked with the previous FK, that was Brian Exovir, and I said, hey, I love, I, I'm starting to get into the, this podcast vibe. I follow in very, uh, several of the biggest podcasts from, of Linux. Uh, uh, and I think we can do something similar. Uh, I thought there is other distribution that have attempts to have podcasts, but they are all unofficial. Why we can do it inside the Flora project? And he said, okay, what do you need? No, oh, I need someone that can do podcasts. I don't know how to do it. It's just an idea. So do your develop do your research. And I started to look how we, what we can do, how we can record. And I started with a list of topics that can be touched. And like in three months, I have the all the first seasons uh, interviews uh, schedule and people committed to say hey yes we, if you are going to do a podcast we want to be part of it and for the second season we have the partnership with and at the time was the dln the destination linux network now it's the tux digital network that is a sponsor of nest thanks for the sponsorship of, of nest and it started like that if you have an idea just speak your voice don't be shy you speak your voice. If you cannot commit to do the, this project, if, if it's interesting, someone can pick the project up. It's better to say an idea, uh, to see an idea becoming something that just let it die because you don't want it you, or you were shy to, to speak up. For sure. Um, so sorry to interrupt, but uh, we have like a few QAs and with only 10 minutes, roughly, I figured we could maybe go through some of those. Yeah. What do you think? Let's go. So there was one I'll, I'll answer on the top, and then I'll, I'll here I am replying it. But when it comes to getting in touch with the marketing team, I think the easiest way is literally just to chime in on our Matrix channel. Uh, we're all there. I literally keep that tab open on my on my browser. So if someone wants to chime in, saying, "Hey, uh, I'd like to contribute, or have an idea, or hey, I I have a project or a group that um I would like to get you know see gain more contributors, more awareness, more users." Um, that's something we, we'd love to know about and help with. Um, it, it, kind of, it leans into the whole idea of we have a campaign. We'd like to decide on a topic when folks chime in saying, hey, we have something we would like to get marketing. That is the type of topic we're looking for. And we already had some ideas, but if you have something where you'd like that as well, then that'd be the best place to get in touch. And then from there, we it's not a formal process, but we'll probably like make a ticket or something like that, like similar to how I did um, for Apple. And then another one that I wanted to. Uh, oh, go ahead. There was another I, question. I want to take the second right one. Yes, that is a. Does the marketing team work on correcting messaging that isn't quite right? It's going to depend on the messaging. The, the general messaging of the Fedora project comes from the council and it's discussed very, very openly. So if you want to, to change any idea or message that we are doing, my share and the council are the right ways to do it. We are like the manpower force to make that messaging out, but not for correcting the message itself. The message itself comes from the council and the my share committee. Yes. Are we um, coordinating content related to talking points for community? Yes, the talking points. We. One of the tasks that we did uh, a lot in the marketing project was to collect talking points about what is new, what is the great things of the new release of Fedora. But that is exciting and it requires a lot of work. But yes, the idea is to to uh, try to create content and try to make the content better and be, um, more clear and better to reach the people out and try to, yes, to, to talk, uh, uh, to be able to, if you want to speak about anything in, related to Fedora to the public, you can come to us and we can, if we cannot help you, we can connect you to the people that is going to help you. That's the message I want to to address here. Yes, I would like to get there the as next well. Question. Um, I see the one from Sam. What specific aims are being pursued by the marketing campaign? Um, IG uh, or EG converting users into contributors. So. Um, in that sense, I would say that marketing is very broad, um, but also like we want to be specific because there's so many ways that we can tackle it. You know, it's 
we maybe we want to cover more users for Fedora, more contributors for Fedora, more contributors for a specific project, um, just general awareness about something that's going on or an, or an initiative. So it can go in lots of different directions. In the case of Apple, um, specifically, they were like, actually, we have millions of users, but we don't have a lot of contributors. So trying to do that is is a, trying to gain more contributors is, is our goal for that campaign. But if, just so I got an example, but if Fedora IoT, because that one caught my attention, if they were like, oh, we'd love to get more users to see more, you know, you know, get an immutable OS out there for IoT, then that would be our goal there. So it's going to depend on, on what the goals of each individual campaign is, but really it's any kind of message we want to get out uh, is something that we could potentially help with. Yeah, for this following question, will it be beneficial to have bash people who are considered poker person from the community? We have several, okay? We have several that are related to ambassadors and advocates and every people that want to talk about the Fedora community. And yes, it will. it is always beneficial. People are really excited about bash. I am very excited with bash. I have like 30 of myself. So yes, everything we can uh, we can push a bash about uh, any people that want to contribute or talk. Even we have a new bash that is will be will be rewarded to people that are interviewed in the podcast. It's coming. So and I want to take the next question too that Alexandra asked. Oh, I was uh, give it to you. <laughs> mis misinterpreted message from the mailing list and my news made news out of nothing. Do you see it is in the scope of the marketing team to implement countermeasures to it? Yes, and not only to implement uh, countermeasures to it, I'm trying to contact, and I have several emails going and uh, come and going with the uh, Foronix, uh, with uh, like two or three Foronix writers to try to give the best message out and have ve a better source. So yes, I think we we want to implement some kind of countermeasures. Uh, one of the idea was to put what is been uh, to promote the new package and all this kind of stuff. But also we want to try to make uh, to make them come to us when they have a new, and we can maybe uh, try to uh, make uh, connect them with the right people to have the the news uh, not misinterpreted. That is out like they should be out. I mean, there's a, a question I'm and pulling an example for now. Yeah, the one that says, should the working groups provide something like a two by two of highlights and lowlights for the marketing team? Um, I guess if, if they mean that just in the abstract of, hey, here's like a, a little summary of what it is that we're doing, if we wanted to touch on that in something like a tweet or an Instagram post, um, we don't have anything organized for that now, but I wouldn't say no. Well, if that is referring to collaboration with the marketing team, I'm just going to paste in here the ticket where we started discussion with the Apple team. As of now, that's kind of what it would most likely be like. It just be started having a conversation. It likely will involve education for us. Like I, I didn't, I really didn't know what Apple was, but I learned so that I could help in this. And it'll likely be a conversation that starts with learning more about what exactly the working group does and then discussing like what would be interesting content to um, to provide. Because also we want to be like, you know, interesting and engaging and not just, you know, talking points of this is why our thing is amazing, you know, but, but that's more creative and besides the point. Exactly. And I want to address the uh, Alexandra comment. And yes, that's the idea. The idea is not that they uh, write nicer things, but they that explain to them what they are trying to, to write and not uh, to make fake news or, or wrong impressions about something they want to write because they they think it's interesting or something. For example, um, there is a blog, or at least it's a static site that is called Flat Kill that address a lot of lies about flag packs okay. <laughs> and people go there a lot and it was addressed by the destination linux network and it was a very good episode if you can look for the episode 222 of the destination linux podcast uh, uh they address everything that is mentioned in the uh, flat kill uh, uh, website 
And I say this kind of thing that the Destination Linux Network do for us, uh, it's not because they do it for us, they do it because they don't agree about that. But something like that could be addressed uh, if people um, get in touch with the right people to before they start writing something. I have this idea, or I don't look, uh, I think this is insecure because of this, of that, and we, why we can, uh, how we can address that, how we can push this new. I think even in the council presentation in NES, uh, there was a question about Flat Hub being insecure and say, hey, we don't develop Flat Hub. There is a lot of people that work in Flat Hub, and we have a Fedora's Flat uh, Hub, uh, uh, Flat Pack uh, Hub. That is the name. Um, we do this because of this and this and this, and uh, to have to be with the real source of the news is. And I think it's not try to write ni nicer things, but at least have the facts, the right facts, before you start writing and try to understand what you're you are writing about. I think there is there is another question. I think we can close yes. with this question. Uh, this is Marie. Oh, hi, Marie. <laughs> How can the Mindshare Committee of Fedora in general support the marketing revival? Asking for the stuff. If we do want to market something, if you want to tweet something, if you have an idea of how we can be better. We have a lot of comments about we can promote uh, Fedora for gaming or uh, we are doing a great stuff with Electron and this kind of stuff. Or if you think your project is is losing track and we can help to gain track again to get people more involved. Uh, we can do a little campaign to promote it like we are trying to do with Apple. I think this campaign will be awesome because I know a lot of people that don't have any idea what Apple is. Myself was uh, uh, itself like six months ago. I didn't know exactly what the Apple does. I know it, is a, it was a set of package for enterprise Linux, but now I'm understanding that a little bit better because we are having in contact with them. So for the marketing, for the Mindshare Committee and the Fedora project itself, uh, we are in chat, those Fedora project or in the hashtag marketing, I think is the, is the channel. We are in Telegram. We are in. We have. We are. We have a tag in discussion. If you want to put an idea there, just go there. I agree. And also, if you want to help out with marketing, with... I'm down for help. Yeah, sure. If you want to help out, come. With more has more work. <laughs> uh, yes, the podcast comeback is not specifically related with the marketing team, but we. Uh, I'm going to to take advantage of it. Since we are going to work with monthly campaign, I think I'm going to take at least uh, one, uh, with a regular schedule of the podcast for each season, it should be bi-weekly, not weekly like other podcasts. So my idea is to take one of the of the weeks to, work, to make the podcast about the monthly campaign we are doing in marketing so for example in august we're going to take apple that is not going to be in august i think it's going to be out in september but uh, i'm going to do the interview with apple and the next episode will be i don't know anything any other thing i think like three things planet but i need to schedule interviews with people if you're talking about so the, yes it's not uh it's not entirely separated I'm going to take advantage of the marketing revival to revive the to make the third season of the podcast because it's not that it's just waiting for the third season to be recorded. And we reached the, our time thank mark. You. That's so it. thank Checking you. The last the comments. <laughs> thank yeah. you, David, for wanting to supply us the content. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And thank you to Edward. Yeah. And also to Isa, who I, I thought maybe would jump on, but I got him. She's been doing great. I learned yesterday she's yeah, like carrying really most of marketing on her back with all the work you're doing <laughs> for the social media. So I'm very grateful. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Isabel and Joseph, for helping me to take this and thank you to everyone to come to her our our session. Have a nice rest of nest. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Bye bye.